Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to bring to you the Base Processing System or the BPS today. Um, this is one of my favorite systems. It, uh, it's because it processes bass sounds and I love a good bass. Um, basically what I did was I modeled this after, um, after when I was listening to New Order and Blue Monday and the way that they used an ARP, an arpeggiator on their bass track and their bass line. Um, yeah, I'm a child of the 80s, I love it. Um, so I tried to model some sort of a system that could process a bunch of different types of ARPs and apply them to your bass sounds. So let's just uh, take a listen here. Um, let us turn on the ARP. Okay, so this bypasses everything, so you can basically bypass the entire ARP system here um, if it's set to 127 on this knob. Um, any other setting and it's going to be on. And then you have your choice of different ARPs. So you can enable ARP 1, ARP 2, ARP 3, or ARP 4. Um, now the way it's set up, I wouldn't enable more than one at a time because you'll get some really high pitches. However, maybe that's kind of what you're going for. But um, basically, if you enable one at a time, that's pretty much the way it was intended. Um, you can also change the sequencing pattern of the art. And uh, yeah, once you go through that, you can come down to the other section of the ARP in which, uh, in which all these, um, basically, the ARPinator spans four different combinators here. Okay, so you got combinator one, combinator two, three, and four. Um, and since there's four ARPs going along here, what I did was I modeled this section to be related to ARP number one, this section to be ARP number two, this section to be ARP number three, this section to be ARP number four. So if you're on ARP number one, you can change ARP patterns over here, but before you change those patterns, you have to actually enable it on. So if you turn that on, then you can play around with the different patterns. Okay, you can have a global hold. Um, these buttons down here, they're global. Okay, so you can global, have a global hold on the ARP. You can have a global sync or freestyle. If it's too crazy for you, turn the rate down. Okay, um, you can have the global um, note re repeat. Okay, and of course we saw that this is the rate. Um, if it's too, if your bass is, if your bass sounds is a little too high, you can drop it really quickly by pressing this button, and it'll drop it an octave or two. Okay, so if you got those high pitch sounds like that, you can drop them a little bit. Okay, so that's basically the way that the ARPinator works. Um, down at the bottom here, you also have the gate length. So you can turn the gate length down. Let's turn the pattern off. So you got the gate length, it could be a long gate length, or a short gate length. Okay, so once you go through there, you go through what's called the Basinator. Now, the Basinator is really kind of an interesting effect unit. Um, what it is, is it's a series of uh, seven different bass tones over two combinators, and all the rotaries work with your bass tones, plus the fourth rotary, which is your original mix. It's a parallel processing unit, so it, it will process all of these um, different tones together and then spit out one final audio um, as well as the original mix. The other uh, buttons underneath are the different cabinet models 
Um, so you have six to choose from and you can work with them all in tandem or separately. You can use this enable button to start it all off. And we have this cab on right now and we have these bass tones. So you can play with the different tones. and you can play with different cabinet models. Okay, and if you don't want to use any of those tones, you can click down here on the enable button, which will enable the second set of tones here. So you've got tone four, tone five, tone six, tone seven, different cabinets, Since both are enabled, you can use two cabinets together. Or you can turn off the top one and leave only the bottom cabinet on. Okay, so once it goes through the tones, then you can come down and you can enable your um, different filters. We have a Thor LP filter. We can change the frequency. Envelope, resonance, different ladder slope, whether it's self oscillating, whether it's tracking on the keyboard, um, you can invert your envelope, or you can send it through a comb filter instead. You can do a plus minus on the comb. probably want it to be on the plus. Change the resonance, lower the drive or increase the drive. Okay, so, and you can also use a combination of those two filters together if you enable both of them. Um, that's the nice thing about these systems, they're so darn flexible. Um, so after the comb filter, you go into the verb deli here, which is already enabled. If you want to turn it off, you don't need to use it. But the, uh, you have an echo verb here. It's also a parallel processing unit, so it's a parallel processing all of these signals together into one. Um, you have a room verb, you have a hall verb, you have a small room verb. So you can process all of those together. Um, you have a limiter in case the signal is getting a little out of control. You have a quick delay, which we've added on here. If you want to turn off the delay and just have the echo, or turn off the echo completely and just turn on a delay. You've got the feedback. Increase the feedback on your delay. You got a delay pan, which will go from left to right. Or you can turn off the delay. And like I said, leave the echo on. Finally, you go into the bass width, which um, you're probably going to want to have um, the low band set to more be more mono uh, versus more wide, which is this way. Um, this is your crossover frequency. This is your high band if you wanted to have it mono or widened, up to you. Um, and here's a main gain filter. So this will just put a gain on your signal or not. You can gain it a little bit, reduce it, and then you've got a basic soft clip here. So I hope that uh, gives you a good introduction to the base processing unit, the base processing system. And uh, again, visit me at reason101.net for more uh, videos, tutorials, and, and the like. This uh, complete system will be available on August 1st in my next refill. So thanks again for listening. I appreciate it.